Hey, what up YouTube? Bo Art Take over here back with another action figure review. Today we have an oldie but a goodie. We have the Soda Toys A Dawn from Street Fighter Alpha. Now let's get into it. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. Man, I love being a turtle. The other thing I'll say again is when it comes to the sculpt work and the character renditions of the Street Fighter figures that Soda did back in the day, man, they were top notch. Like you could not put a finger on what Soda was doing. This character looks just like Adam. Uh, I know I called him Adon. I'm not sure how you really pronounce his name. I've been calling him Adam for this long, so I'm gonna just keep calling the dude Adam. Taking a quick look at the scope work, as I said before, this is an older figure, but I mean, this figure still definitely holds up. Looks like he's got some gloss for the eyes. I do like that. The eyes look like they're kind of like a hazel type of color. I do like the facial expression. I do like the chin, the scope work. Man, they soda toys. Soda toys, you got, look, they even put the, uh, the shading on this guy, too. You see his back, his back looks pretty good. Arm muscles look pretty good. Got the, I guess that's like a, I'm not sure exactly what those things are actually called. See, you got the ab muscles, you got some rivets. You got some little ridges for the, for the shorts. See the scope line, see the seam line, with the wrinkles. Looks pretty good, everything looks pretty good, man. You got the wraps for the bottom of her feet. That's it for the details. Let's go over the articulation. His head can move down about that much, so not too much, but that's okay. His head can move up about that much. You've got your full swivel. You also have a slight rocker going for the head. That's pretty cool. His arms can get a full swivel going on. Swivel for the bicep. Double joints for the elbows. Looks pretty ugly, but I mean, that's pretty cool that he has double joints. A simple hinge and rotation for the wrist. No butterfly joints for the shoulders, but his arms can go up about that much, so that's pretty cool. The rotation at the waist, which is still pretty tight, that's nice. Ab croissant. Can go back about that much, so that's not bad. My only real gripe with the figure is his leg can only go up about that far, you know, so you won't be able to do something like, say, his jaguar kick or something. You know, uh, this is, man, this is more like a, a kitten kick. Kitten kick. Meow. Get a rotation at the thigh. Double joints for the knees come in about that much, so that's okay. Legs can go out a fair amount. I like that. Hinge on the foot allows them to go up about that much. Go down about that much. There's a cut in the middle of the foot, which allows it to rock like that. For his accessories, I don't have the original packaging he comes with, but this is one of his alternate faces. Um, I'm not really familiar with this face. I guess it's a variation from the game, but I like the first face better. This one, um, it's got a kind of a goofy look, but I do like the sculpt work that's going on for it. this part right here. I don't believe this is a hinge, but it... I can't really find a, it looks like it might be starting to part a little bit, you know, but yeah, I don't think that's a hinge. Uh, he also comes with a slightly closed palm attack hand and a thumbs up hand. But at the lower calf, I'm just now noticing this. Besides comparisons, here we have him next to the Soda Sagai, and this figure hasn't held up. Uh, he's going to probably fall over at any moment, and we have the SH Figuar Sagai. Next, we have him next to the McFarlane Inferno figure and the Kotobukiya Zero Model Kit. Next, we have a next to the DC Essentials Batgirl and the SH Figuarts Rama Ryoga figure. Next, we have a next to two Storm Collectibles. We have a next to the Golden Axe Skeleton, the 2020 Exclusive figure, and the 2020 Exclusive Helmaru from Samurai Showdown. Next, we have a next to two NECA figures. We have the Michelangelo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie and the Ninja Gaiden figure. And lastly, here we have a next to the Marvel Legends Shang-Chi figure and the Mayfax Cyclops. Final thoughts for this figure. I like what Soda has done for their Street Fighter line. I, honestly, I wish that um, I wish they were still doing their thing today. You know, um, with the advancement with the uh, articulation and stuff like, oh man, Soda would have been killing it. But uh, if you could find him for a good price, last I checked, he wasn't. Uh, he's not running for too much compared to the other other Soda figures that they've released. So um, if you could find him for a good price, man, I say go for it. If I haven't mentioned it before, this is one of the variant colors. Um, I decided that I'm not going to go ahead and get the original color because I got this one and I like this one. So anyways, you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't to stay tuned for more content. Till then, peace.